So today we're gonna see chapter 18, which is communication. I think this chapter has been added to the book. Um, it wasn't a thing in the, no. Uh, oh, okay, it was chapter 28. Yeah, yeah. I in think the, it's, it's combined, uh, like they, they combined a multiple chapter. Uh, yeah. Some of some of them later and some of them. Yeah. So yeah. So hopefully I got some slide. Somebody, um, you know, the chapter has already. So I didn't create um new slide. I just added some stuff. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So. Are you working with um, R in BS Code or in R, in R Studio? Because I know you do Python. Yeah, I I I work in R with R Studio, but okay. Uh, but I I try to write Python in uh, in VS, VS Code. Mm -hmm. So I think maybe today is also me and you only. So yeah. let's just get started so as you can see the chapter was in this year but um, you know one of the main objective is uh, on the tool you need to create good graphics so it's not just gonna teach us like how to create the graphics we already learned that i think in the previous chapters how to make visualization but the main objective is like how can you make the graphic you know um, you know good one that you know send information that is needed so these are some of the objectives the make mention so we'll learn at the end of this chapter how can we add levels um that explain how can we add annotation and some skills and how can we use some themes um so uh also this chapter uh, is brief uh, in the sense that uh, the content are still the same but repeating them so we have a brief walkthrough as well so the he started with the chapter by saying that um one of the great book he recommended is the book the trustful art, um, which does not actually teach visualization, but uh, focus on what you need to think about in order to create effective graphics. So if you wanna create effective graphics, uh, this book teacher, and he said uh, recommended that. Um, I, okay, so the first one we're gonna see is how can we create levels to our visualization so that it uh, effective in the sense that it can send more information. Um, so we'll work with this data first. Uh, what is it showing here? Okay, anyway, this is a data, uh, biomedical oxygen demand found in the data set packet. It is made up of two variables, time and demand. And we want to, you know, just set some, you know, title, subtitle, caption. So we have uh, argument here that you can add labs, which um, we, when we look at this one here, we can see here, let's go here. Um, when we click this lab, I don't know, can we see it here? Oh. Okay, I don't. I, I just wanted to see if we can see it in uh, some of the argument it has. But anyway, um, what we can do with this is that uh, when we have our plot, we can add these labs, and we can add a lot of stuff inside it. So here we can see. Um, you know, let me run this guy. Right. So here we can see. Uh, you know. We have title, which is here. And we have subtitle, which is here, and we have caption. So we can see this is a caption. So you can see here, as I said, this chapter is not teaching how to plot, but teaching how you can make uh, the visualization good. So these labs allow you to, you know, um, put, uh, you know, more information on your uh, visualization. He also advised that. Um, the purpose of plus is to summarize the main finding. Avoid titles such as 
a scatter plot of engine displacement by this because this is adjusted them, but no summarize. So you can see here, um, you know, biomedical demand data interpretation using the sum square or something like that. Just you know, uh, you know, um, yeah. So that's about levels. Just adding the levels. Um, we can also use levels to represent the axis and the legend title. So here we can see we have axis, um, x and y. So we can use these levels. Instead here, we can see here we use level for title, for subtitle and for caption, right? But we can also use this level to rename this x, y and to rename this x. How can we do that? So here we can see in the labs, we can put x and y what will be in X and Y. So you can see here, this is the X, this is the Y, this is the X. So that's all about level. So the main intuition here is that uh, we can use level to do customize other stuff. Yeah, so that's all about level. Um, Hamad, do you want to add something? Um, yeah, they, uh, they mentioned here that you could, uh, you could have like a formula, like this kind of formula, alpha plus beta. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. With the quotation, quote, um, function so it's uh, this is a new function i didn't know so ah uh, yeah okay this one oh okay mm -hmm. so you are like it's like uh, you you making the label is uh, a mathematical formula exactly yeah. exactly yeah so um you know um you can define the levels on whatever you hear and we can see here they make it in form of mathematical formula having this code and yeah. this yeah and you could also uh, instead of la la labs uh, function you could, i think there is x lab and y yeah, lab yeah yeah uh, just to uh, separate like do this function to to define x and do mm -hmm. this function to define y uh, yeah yeah some people are doing like labs like this and some people yeah, are doing, yeah. Mm -hmm. so the, the, this this labs it allows you to just put everything that you needed in in here you know what i mean like yeah. for example you can have um, this x y you can at the same times have this kind of title subtitle and all put them inside the labs so that everything you put them together rather than x lab y lab and you go back and do some other stuff so yeah it's just different uh, uh flavor people can select the one they want yeah mm -hmm. So uh, even in the book, he started explaining about the X lab and Y lab before I think he comes to these labs, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Um, what else about the labs or uh, levels? Yeah, that's it. I think it's uh, it just labels for uh, for your graphs, and I think they. Uh, the shutter is uh, like bigger than this. Uh, I, think, I think I don't know if they how how they construct the um, the presentation here, but uh, the shutter is aiming for you to better you in communicating your results uh, uh, when you are dealing when you try to uh, communicate your result with, uh, to your stakeholders or your, your business people. So yeah. they are. There are people that don't know anything about technical stuff, so it's a they don't know how they don't know yeah statistics. They don't know everything, but mm -hmm. they they can okay. They can read the graphs or yeah, see, see what uh, like bar plot or uh, mm -hmm. some kind of um, scatter plot. Mm -hmm. uh, but they can see it, and why we by us visualizing it with, uh, the best way, and that's why he, he here we. We are trying to have added more level, more exactly, level, more exactly, uh, exactly. Yeah, to the to the graph to just make mm -hmm. it more appealing, more mm -hmm. uh, more informative, mm -hmm. to, and also it's uh, I think the, the chapter talks about how we can like um, trying to like having a systematic way of uh, delivering uh, our graphs. Mm -hmm. uh, but I don't know if it's if, if it's in details or not. But uh, yeah. But this is yeah. about the labels. I think this is uh, yeah. This is about yeah. it. Yeah, as you said, like it's just about communication, like telling other people how to communicate. And one of the most important things is like you need to you are uh, you know visualization must have a very informative levels, uh, which tells um, as the user reader read it, 
you will see the levels, you know, vividly explain what this means. And, you know, uh, maybe they don't have some kind of, uh, you know, um, prior knowledge. So it will be helpful to have, you know, for example, a very good level. You can see here, it explain everything and also this level. So, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. And as well, um, many ways to represent the level as well. Yeah. Okay, so the next one uh, we can see after the levels is annotation. Um, so one good thing with this slide, whoever put it, it just like uh, they, uh, you know, they don't go down into the, you know, uh, for anybody that has read the chapter, they just took some important point and you know, uh, walk through it. So, um, so in addition to the, uh, you know, putting levels you have looked, it's able to give them individual observation or growth observation. Uh, so for example, here we can level this observation, but uh, you know, leveling uh, the levels here we have, um, we level whether it is this here or here, but uh, how can we annotate individual point here? That is called annotation. So um, here they use um, different data sets. Uh, I think it's not in the example in the book. Um, and uh, for you to do that, we're gonna use what is called jump text that can be used to add annotation. Jump text is um, the function that can be used to add annotation. Um, so let's look at it. So here um, we have the data press. Um, uh, it, it, this data set is annual participation in the US cities. So in the US city, uh, for each uh, city, what is the particip participation? So look at it, um, we have the you know uh, cities names here, and let's look at the data frame. So this is the data frame, this is the city, this is the participation. So annually, this is it. So we wanna annotate, uh, have a plot where we show the participation, and now we map the annotation which city is that. So that's the plan we're gonna do. So. For us to do that, uh, because we already have a data frame where we have the participation, the corresponding city. So where do we have here? So we annotated with this one. Where we do have the, we annotated with this. And what we can see here is that uh, when I do this, um, we can see we, no, what's happening? Mm, okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, I don't know what's it's trying to run, but take it. Okay. Since I have it already run, let's go through it. So we already see like the cities and the participation. So now here we have our data frame. We arrange it. Um, now we are, are plot ggplot, you know, one to seven, 70. Um, the y is this, which is this participation. Um, now jump point, we plot this one the side jump line that we're gonna use, um, jump text. Um, we already discussed this once, how you can do plotting. But this is the one that is talking about jump text. How can we add text? So it, jump text also has this aesthetic. So what is the level we're gonna have? So remember, as I showed, we said each participation has corresponding city. So here is telling us what it will be the level. So we say is city. And what will be the size um, of that thing is, uh, you know, precipitation or whatsoever. And, you know, that's what we're gonna have. And this is also the levels we have, and it just plot for this. So we can see here for each precipitation here. And remember here, we said here shape, um, uh, here the X should be one to 70, and you can see here to 70, right? Um, you see, and each point is mapped with this. But we can see here, these points, they are, you know, not quite visible. Um, in yeah, the sense. They, they're overlapping each other. Yes, exactly. So we can see this one, they overlap each other. So we have a way to make this one, you know, uh, better. Then we check, check overlap, which is true if there is overlap in this. So we can see it makes it better here. Uh, the same code here above, uh, the same code. So we can check overlap and it says through, then we have this. So you can see like it shows better, right? Um, but uh, what what is like uh, the itch, itch just? Yeah, so, or what? Yeah, uh, so, mm -hmm. so this one, itch just, so uh, 
the book explains this stuff. So how? So look at it. So how you can, you know, um, I was struggling to even uh, I understand because you do something like that. So, so we have this. Because, yeah, it's adjustment position. Yeah, so we, we decide the position of the thing. Mm -hmm. um, so horizontal, I think H for horizontal. Uh, yes. e for vertical. vertical. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So here, but uh, what I, I don't want to understand, I don't understand here is that you say H just left, H, but uh, V just top. Um, right, but this are uh, still the same. I don't understand what they are trying because this is just laid something, this is just center, this is just bottom. But is it he just okay, center, he just top? I think they they trying to like have like a horizontal line and a vertical line, and uh, and when you you cross it like an x axis and y axis, the cross is uh, like cross of the two. So the horizontal and the vertical okay. is, is the one uh, is the point that they okay I see trying to annotate it I think so. um okay okay I see so yeah, but we... is there are there are any examples or on this one yeah so let me show you yeah so uh... but H just Right. Yeah, here we set up the, just the horizontal to the right. So, um, let me see this. In the, oh, no, this one is not working. I don't know what is happening with my R studio. It's still it's in the other day. It's working like this. So, anyway, we have this just the head just right. So, I think it's um, what can you say? Like the, this one that we use H just horizontal um right um is putting it in this way what does that mean i think the, the beginning from the right yeah so the beginning is the right i think that but you could like can, could you see the documentation for for uh for the gram text sorry so, could, can we see the documentation for the Zoom text? Oh, oh, my computer is yeah, okay. Let me read the console. In the console, like where we can see it in the console. For Zoom text? Yeah. Like this, yeah, this is later. Oh, yeah, this, this is the, the second one. Yeah, there is a position, but there is not. Um, yeah, this is the HR. Okay. Yeah. Um, is H just? I don't know. It's just is yeah. It's uh, it's like scroll down, scroll down. You, I see it. Yeah, here. So it's just zero and notch x.
see if I can get you folks to play. Oh, yeah. Oh, he had just zero, but here they put he had just his code right. Yeah. It takes like continuous value, uh, integer, and it takes like string. I don't know. Yeah, it might be. I think it could, it could be mapped uh, or to okay. other values. I think. Mm. Okay. So can can you change it for to to left? Uh, we can see the um, yeah, or it's it's not running. Let, it's me, not just, running. let me just start. It. <laughs> I don't know. My computer is so doing that. It feels hard. I even restart my computer because I don't know, because I run something and it just... It happens all the time. <laughs> I restart the computer. I don't know what that thing cost to my computer because I had to restart it. You see, it's not working. <sighs> so try the source. Huh? Try the source tab. Oh, okay. Let, let me see. I... Good. I don't know what is happening with my computer. Okay. So, so yeah, it's work. Uh, Okay. Okay, what do you say we try? Um yeah, the H the H uh, just we want to see if if it's uh, left, for example, not right here. Yeah. Let's look at it here. So this is what happened. Okay. So let's try the um, the right the left one. Hmm. Oh, um, I think it's, it's like the left of the points, the right of the points. What do you mean? Like the point is um, like without it's just mm -hmm. it's just uh, it's um, it's a position of the 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 word in respect to the points. So if the points is uh, the points is um, is in the right, mm -hmm. then then the the words in the left. So it's it's like they they reverse it. For example, here it, it just is right, which mm -hmm. means that the point is the right in the right direction, and the the the, the words. Is okay, let me see. So you see mobile here. So you see the word mobile. Ah, okay. It's okay. in in the left of the point. Oh, okay. I see. I see. I see. Yeah, that's that's it. So it's a position of uh of the point with respect to the the word. Mm. Where is the word in, basically? Yeah, it's left, right? Yeah. The it's 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 uh, the 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 point itself is is in on the left side, but the word it's in reverse like right so we, we when we want like the the word in the right direction we say yes left. yes, if yes. We want the other side yeah that's, that's okay it. so what about this when we say zero yeah uh, 
Okay, let me see. The same legs on, yeah. Ah. Yeah, so, so it's the mapping that, that, like what I said, like zero is for right, for left, uh, and one is for right, something like that, yeah. <laughs> see, we don't know, but we like Yeah. <laughs> this is, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not even in the, like, uh, the docs. I don't know why. Yeah, it's not even in the doc. <laughs> Because we opened the dock and we couldn't see it. Yeah. Okay, good. So yeah. let's go to the next one. So there is another one that I didn't know like how it worked, but we can figure it out. So we can see here we have the check overlap is true. So now there is no overlap. So if we can change this one to left, this way. So it will be here. Okay, nice. Yeah. Okay, so um but at the same time here they have what is called nudge y they have nudge y nudge so nudge so here let's see this so look at what is the difference between what can you spot because because of this value nudge uh, so we nudge it to you know minus two um you can so you can see here in the map but now the so the annotated plot we made above is hard to read because the levels overlap with each other. You can see the level with overlap with each other. And with the point, we can use the nodge parameter to move the level slightly above the corresponding points. Hmm. So so like it's like shifting it, like yes, maybe I think nodge to y minus two. So y means if we say minus two, maybe we're gonna go down if it is up. So let me see if it is two. So you can see here, I think it goes up. If yeah. it's my two. Like shifting it from uh, the line. Yeah, it's shifting it, it's shifting it. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. Just to position the, the... Yeah, so you can see this nudging because if they are, you know, if they scattered, so now if you nudge them, so you can see they can, you know, um, yeah all right yeah nice. um they also say you can also highlight certain point in a plot using gg geom refill geom text refill so from this packet gg refill um so if we have this uh this is an example here you have an outlier you have some points which are outlier so in the data set you want to only highlight this point the outliers so this point you want to highlight them. So we can use this um, package jump text repel. So here we can see we have a jump point, everything. So here we call text jump repel. We have the data. We just give it the outline because you already have your data, you plotted jump point, but you want to, uh, you know, highlight or, um, you know, uh, highlight certain points from the data you already have. So you can use this geom repel and provide the points you want, which are subset of the original data. So which are this, um, AS, uh, the level, what kind of level, the model. So you want to use the model here to give the level. Um, so uh, if we remove this guy, the last one, when we run this. So we can see here that um, the jump point, we have jump point uh, data, the outlier, the color is red. And now we have another jump point color red, size three shelf cycle. So you have jump point, the inner one, which is red, but you have another jump point, which cycle it. So it's like double jump point, one giving you the inner cycle. Can you see that? And the other one is giving you the shape and the cycle. So which make it? So these are the outliers. Um, yeah, yeah, it's like the stroke and the circle inside the yes. stroke. Yes, exactly. So and, you can. Uh, what, what is like a, the potential outlier? Is it how it's defined? You see how, what? How 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 we know the potential outliers here? No, um, something that is you know greater at some point you just say is outlier. For example you are domain expert in some field and some values that you know they are greater than this value, you see they are just outliers. 
Oh yeah, yeah. So it's a subset. Yeah, yeah. I don't see it. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. So not another handy technique here. We added circle layer of large hollow point to highlight to further highlight the level point. So this is just something that I just made. Nice. Um. Okay. And I think this is very useful because uh, when we when we when we want to highlight uh, outlier, we we usually use like box plot or something. Mm -hmm. The the outlier, where is the outlier, and how is it? We could mm -hmm. use it, this also uh, to highlight which one is more outlier than others, like compare yeah. be between outliers. So it's oh yeah yeah mm -hmm. we could use this. So yeah so. okay. All right, so um, another one. Um, okay, you can also set, um, you know, level specifically, uh, you, a level in specific plate inside plot. Um, what they mean here is that, for example, here we have this. So here you can see we have this level. So we what we can do is that uh, we can basically use, you know, uh, calculate here we calculate from this data what is the maximum what is the minimum so you do a summary to get the level so you you decide the location of the level but here we use the data use summary summarize the maximum display the minimum display and now put the level so here we can use this at uh, this uh, distance because this is x uh, Dix, uh, X and Y, this point. So here you can see it put it at the uh, maximum because here you can see the display is seven, which is here. And the whatsoever here is 40 something, which is here. So you can see, uh, you can do that uh, to create the position where to put the level from your data. But you can also, you know, put your level, for example, here, uh, uh, if you want to put it at extreme end, if you want to play the take exactly on the border of the plot, exactly you can use infinite and plus infinite. Meaning here you can use summary display infinite how I infinite and put the level. So here you to put the you know here exactly at this border. So this is just another way. Um, you can also use this uh and add annotation without creating new data frame using annotate. Um, so here we can see. We use this function called annotate, and uh, here we provide text, jump text, um, x infinite, y infinite, and this is the level. So let's run this. So what this means, um, we have our plot jump point here, which is here that we run, but we want to put this one annotate. We want to put it. So instead for us to use this approach we discussed here, you can just use this function annotate, and inside it you provide basically the geo, uh, the x infinite, infinite and y infinite as we have here as well, right? And you can put the level, which is this, and you put the position b just is top, h just is right, as we have the h just is right, b just is top. So this would put it here. So this is just annotation that allow you to uh, identify where you wanna put your stuff. So. And this one, basically, uh, I think geom is equal to text. It means what you are going to put here is text. Yeah. Yes, Ahmad, you want to add something? Um, the, is, is they like describe the seam, this is the GG seam. Sorry? The GG seams, what is the GG seams? Ah, okay. Um, so this is just a theme. Um, because there are many themes, um, you know, to uh, have your plot. So I think in the previous chapter we discussed that. So this is just a theme. There are many, many different themes that you can select. Uh, so let me, yeah. So here you can see we have themes, you know, this. Yeah, this is what we know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this yeah, yeah, I remember, yes. yes. These are the, all the same. But uh, there are packages with many themes, other things that you can use as well. So I think this one is also part of, yeah, uh, GG theme. So it's a package. Um, if you look at it, maybe here, you can see. Uh, can you see GG themes? 
So when yeah. you insert it, Not, yeah. So it comes with you know many, um, you know, customized. Yeah, 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 yeah. It does um, so the um, you can see it here. GG teams, uh, GG teams, package contain extra teams, scales, geom, and function for GG plot two. Yeah. So what about like the the like the summarized function here is like we map like um, the end. So what is the end again? Because I don't get it. Like what? What is the what? The inf. Infinity, infin infinite. Infinite. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, that's what it means. So it means I think uh, you are just giving it to use the extreme. And here, just put it oh. here, the extreme end of X and Y axis. You are not, because the other one, you look at it, you are calculating the uh, maximum, you are calculating the value on X and Y that you want to put your level. Can you see this? Um, by using summary. So here, the, it will, what is the value? Yeah, of they, get, they get like the, the, the maximum value and yes. the, yeah. Of, of x and y and then you put y. the level at the corresponding point oh but, yeah yeah but this one you are telling them no use the extreme end so here the top end of y is this what is the last point of x is they put it so this is what i i think i got it from here yeah but if we if this is like the the main position that uh, that we specify why we are specifying also the v just um and it's uh, it's just because here we don't have labels and ah, okay, okay, okay. yeah yeah i get what you mean so oh. we i think v just and it just is just uh, they do they just used when um we have words and map those word in every um on every like um point we want to just see the the words inside so it's it doesn't work related to it look i i removed this those stuff there is a new line okay let me remove there So we have like, we have to do it. Um, okay. Yeah, we have, we have, we have to visit um, in there. I think because um, yes. we specify like the, the correspondent again with, uh, with V just and H just, the vertical adjustment and the horizontal adjustment, we just uh, try to define the, the cross, the correspondent point with it, I think that's what, why we use it. But again, I, I don't see the point of um, of using the both of them here. Yeah, let me see this. Hmm. Yeah. So we have the top. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So the top is yeah. Yeah. I I got it. Um. So the top here. Uh, mm -hmm. So the we are referring by infinity uh, to the top uh, top right last point on the graph. So it's it's on like the x this x. Mm. Um. So the last point like uh, how I describe it. It's it just, you see the is, like the last corner. Do you see the corner in, in the graph? Yeah, yeah. The corner, yeah, the corner. Mm -hmm. Like put up, put up a little bit of the mouse. Put up. Yeah. Yeah, this, this corner, like the last corner of the, of the graph. Yeah. This is, this is in, uh, like in the, this is the infinite, the top and the right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when we when we want like the 
uh, the text to be under and left, we do the opposite. Like the text, it's the, the point that we are mentioning here is the last point in the graph. So it's, it's on the top left corner. This, um, like how I, how I say it. Um, you see the corner, like uh, the, the, the mouse, put the mouse on the corner of the graph. Here. Yeah, here. Yeah, this this one is is nth uh, is is nth nth. Oh, it's okay. Like, yeah. yeah, it's infinity. Oh, infinity. Oh, yeah, yes, 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 yes. So when we want like the, the text itself to be uh, under and left, we do the opposite. Like we we yeah. do, we describe the opposite. Like we what we yeah, expect. I understand. Yes, yes, yes. So the vertical we is the top, which means that the bottom of the point. Mm -hmm. And uh, the horizontal is the, the right, which is means the, the left of the point. So that's why we put it here exactly. Yeah. At least this is how I understand it now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. So let's continue moving on. Um, yeah. Uh, okay. And then the last one, um, the scales. Um, they discuss about you know the scales, what it means. So which we saw the annotate, we saw level, we saw annotation, then the scale is necessary to make your look plot better for communication. And um, we can see it here, for example, here we plot, um, here do plot jump point. Uh, we see we don't put any scale, but what they are saying is that ggplot automatically add default scales behind the scene. So here we have scale X continuous, scale Y continuous, scale why this discuss so ggplot add this um you know scales for you um to do um other stuff for you um but uh um i haven't had uh, the slide here the preview it doesn't talk uh you know talk about much about these kind of scales um there is also another example here uh, i don't know whether you know this patchwork um, package, but um, here we can see we have um, P1, we have PT uh, attack creating a very simple data frame, and now they use this. Um, running this, um, they have this figure here. I don't know. Do you know why what this patchwork does? No, unfortunately, I don't. Okay, so. Um, you know, um, I didn't look at these continuous quite a lot, but uh, um, yeah, um, it so allows- Are they mentioning how we can like define the scale? Oh yeah. So, um, you know, the scales um, allow you to define how you gonna scale the X axis, how you gonna scale the Y axis. Um, unfortunately, the ggplot, um, if you have your data for X and have your data for Y, it will automatically use continuous. So for example, if you have your data that runs through 70, so it will be like this. If it runs through seven, it will be continuous, something like that. But you can define your own way of scaling, but here is not, uh, uh, in this slide, there is, uh, I, I, in the book, they mention it, but in this slide, they didn't put it, how you can scale your, to your preference. Yeah. And, yeah. So finally, the themes, uh, which allow you to choose many, you know, uh, themes. Uh, Levels, yeah. Yeah. Uh, for example, uh, classic, if you are a yeah, classic theme, that theme, um, theme void, uh, empty theme, only gem available. Okay. Oh, okay. Void, no, this, no, this, but okay. And um, yeah, theme minimal. Theme classic, yeah. So um, as I said, um, they make this slide, you know, vivid in this and no much detail in it, uh, which I didn't add and other stuff. All right, so that's what it is containing this today, this week. Um, I, um, I think there is um, there's one interesting graph that I want to uh, okay. see in the- um, in Maybe, the... maybe it's just my screen. Yeah. 
let's see. The ones with uh, the arrow. This one. This one. I, I don't see it. Uh, you cannot see my screen? Yeah, 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 yeah this one, yes. Uh -huh. The arrow one, yes. Because this is very useful. This is indicated. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's very useful. So let's look at what they do. So you can also use it level geom instead of test geom. So here we have been using, I think, uh, tech geom, right? Uh, okay, let's look at You can use level geom. Okay. Okay, like color. Another approach of drawing attention to a plot feature is using segment geom. Segment geom. Okay. And the arrow argument. Okay. The X and X axis depend the starting location of the segment, and X end and Y depend the end of location. Okay. So here we have our you know normal normal stuff. Annotate um, geom. Level three x is three point five. This so if there is a, a, a like a separate function yes, called yeah. geom label geom or geom. Uh, no, here we can see geom. So we have different two things. Geom. What are we going to do? Level. So we are plotting this one here. Then we have annotate. We have what geom, which is segment, which will add this one. So here, what they are saying, you can also use level geom you know, uh, level geom instead of text geom, like we did earlier, set assets like color, another approach of device, okay? Okay, yes. anyway, because if you look at them before, um, you know, we have geom, geom, we said text, can you see that? Where yeah, we yeah, had yeah. yes. But here we are saying geom, level. Yeah. Level, yeah, it's the same as that, yeah. Yeah, it's the same. But here you look at it, Um, you can see here we said uh, increase in this, but, uh, here we said x is 3.5, y is 38. So here we are providing what is the position of x, 3.5. You start from 3.5 here. And uh, y is 38. You can see 38 here. So um, it's a label like adding the, like this red, yes. uh, red, red stroke or not? No, 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 no. Um, so here we can see the h just um, left and the color is this. So this is just, uh, but for the arrow here, we use geom. It, it for you to have the arrow, it we use this segment. And now we start from x to three, then here, and from y to five, which is here. X end. Where will it uh, end? So it will end in x five. Y end. Where will it end? Corresponding to y, which is y twenty five, and which color red? So this what is for this one here. So we can say arrow is supposed to. Um, we specify the type, uh, type of the arrow. Type is closed. So here, I think this is a closed arrow. Uh, maybe there are different kind of the arrows that you can specify whether it whatsoever. Um, but yeah. the, um, the arrows are of different types. So it's closed arrow is something like this. And uh, yeah, so I think uh, this is what this one. So this is very useful, as you said, um, to- um, you know, But I, what, I, what I was mentioning is like, the label, the difference between text and label is, is it ab about the stroke, the red stroke, because this is what was not in the text one. The difference between, oh, the, X and low. Label and text, yes. GM label and GM text. Uh, okay, okay, because, all right. So yeah. you can see the level, the, the GM level, we are putting some level, leveling, we are level. Here is just GM text, just putting the text, just text. You know, geom. Yeah, but I, I'm talking about the the uh, the rectangular that yeah. surround surround mm -hmm. uh, the text. Is it mm -hmm. about? Is it like by default, or we specify by using this x uh, equal three point five and y uh, thirty eight? Or x. Yeah, yeah, I think this is this is the difference. I think it's uh, it it adds like uh, some kind of stroke, um, like red a red stroke, or a red, a red rectangle around the the text itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I'm not sure. Like, how do we define it to be like this? You know, this like can, you can try it. Could you try it in like? Yeah. Yes. Yes.
Okay. So. Um, so try try just to, to, to change uh, the label to text. So yeah, yeah, this yeah, that's what I as I said. So the the stroke around the text is what differentiates between text, just normal text, and the label, which is. Yeah. Very useful, I think. Yeah. yeah. Very useful. Very useful. Mm. Awesome. Okay. We are figuring out things ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. I don't know why why it's not mentioned in the like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's silent. But it's okay. It's 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 part of the learning to just investigate <laughs> yeah. and search. So awesome, um, and also I'm I'm tr I'm starting to investigate like the ggplot uh, in Python now. Oh okay. Yeah, it's called like uh, plot nine or something like that, mm -hmm. uh, and um, plot the also uh, trying to to do some stuff with it, and yeah, it's very useful. Okay, cool. Awesome. All right. Um... Thank you very much, Ahmad, for that good discussion. Um, yeah. Yeah, thanks for your presentation. Okay, thank you. And see you next week. Okay. Um, so we have, uh, will you volunteer for next week's presentation? Um, I don't know if, because this, the next week, I think I'll have like um, the other club. Uh, and I want like to focus on some, like I have something, but if, um, if no one for no one volunteer, I will volunteer. Um, okay, yeah. We'll discuss this in the sack. Okay, okay, no problem. No problem. Yeah. Okay. Ciao, ciao. Bye. Bye. See you later.